How's it going everybody? We are starting on another project and I am using my new GoPro. Finally got one. After a lot of research I scored one off of Facebook. So it's a GoPro, it's the uh, Hero 7. So excited. Hopefully the video comes out clear. Let me show you what we got going. We're working on the camper again and we are going to make a little addition to camping in Oklahoma, Arkansas area. Even though it's October, the days get a little warm. So let me show you what I'm gonna be doing. Ta-da! It is a air conditioner, room air conditioner, rolling. We did not want to make a hole on the side and to mount a wall unit. So this takes up a little bit of room, but we can slide it back in that corner. This street sure is noisy. We are going to figure out a way to configure that hose. I don't want to run it out the side of the camper. I want to go through the floor, but I don't want to put a hole in this side of the floor. I want to go inside the box over here under this box and put a hole. So the hose is going to have to turn and go in the box and out the floor. So let's see what we could do. big change of plans the wife and I through a lot of uh, thinking we decided we are gonna put a small window right up there we had planned on doing it a long time ago and I misplaced one of them but we're just gonna put one in first so let's go out and I'll show you what we're doing this is an old window from a trailer house. We'll have to clean it up or paint it. We're gonna bring part of it over that rib there because we can attach it right there. And there's wood on the back side. So I need to clean it up and or spray paint it. And uh, that hole right there, when I open up the window, it's a perfect size for that vent. So we'll have fresh air that comes in. We'll have a cross breeze. When I open up the side window, we'll have a cross breeze. There's the original color. You can see how much it's faded. It used to be a really pretty blue. We'll probably eventually repaint it. side and market. Oh, 
All right. Oh. Let's see what that looks like. Hello. Man, that's nice. We got the window all taped off. The other window I took out. This thing's kind of dirty. We need to clean it up first, probably. But I'm going to just paint the outside with some black. That's what I need to do to the two big windows, too. Look at that. We get this to pop in the window, then the hose snaps into this and it snaps into there. It'll be a clean setup. So that's what we're working on now. This is the part of the bracket that's designed to go into a window of a house, but we're reconfiguring it. Leatherman wingman. Ran some butyl tape around the opening. We've already drilled out all the holes. Now let's mount this window. Good stainless steel screws. <laughs> Love it. Boy, it blends in so well. Nice thing about this glass is you can't see through it, which is nice for uh, security. We don't have to put a curtain on it. This is the adapter that comes with it. We've cut it down. I made some little cedar blocks that go in on the side. To keep the air from escaping and making a firm seal when I attach it to the window. We got it Gorilla glued these blocks in. Then we could drill, pre-drill them and I've got an idea to mount them. That Gorilla Glue is some amazing stuff. In about two hours, this was all glued and dried. I went ahead and drilled 
four holes, messed up on one hole, it went to the side a little bit, so I re-drilled over. And then I drilled four holes on the window. And what we're gonna do This window needs some work to it, but it stays out of the way. Since we could not get the bracket inside the window, this is gonna screw right to the window, just like that. And that will snap in and blow the air out. But we're not gonna do that right now because we are getting packed up to go camping for our anniversary. Heading to Skytook Lake. So let's uh, head that way. We're in Sky Took Lake, Oklahoma. Beautiful little spot here. We got the new improvements done on the Colorado camper, the window, and there is the exhaust for our air conditioner which is what we use when we're in Oklahoma even though it's not bad outside right now but it fits that perfectly when you close this door there's no airflow in this camper so it gets pretty warm in here especially with my insulation so now we can actually camp year-round in the summertime we have the air conditioner but we can pull it out and close the window when it gets really cool outside we don't need it and it fits right in between there perfectly that turned out really nice we've got a remote control to it too so hopefully we can dial it in for the perfect temperature so yep i gotta bring tools with me because i'm always working on the camper so it's gonna be nice I'm looking forward to tonight this is a really pretty place it's dying it's October the 22nd today's my anniversary we decided to come somewhere different we've never been and tried new things not a whole lot of people here this could be nice and quiet though going to go over to some friends house here in a second and we're going to enjoy some good food and good company out on their deck. So, really excited about that. So, you guys take care. That was beautiful. The Sky Took Lake was gorgeous. But that night, the storm came in. And the next morning, it was 35. Yesterday, it was 85. And then the next day, it was 35. Just like the day when I got married. It was gorgeous the day I got married. The next day, it was <laughs> butt cold. But anyways, it, we had a lot of fun. That air conditioner is awesome. Looking forward to doing more improvements. I gotta find that other window and I gotta work on the other two windows and many more ideas I have. So stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. Everybody have fun. Stay out of trouble. All right what to do it's cool outside i just want some warm chili that would be nice i'm telling the wife to make me some warm chili Arr.